Howdy y'all. Let's get right back into my series on the oldest, the first ever photographs taken in Egypt. In part one, our previous entry, we looked at the images taken by one Hippolyte Arnaud, and it is due to his lawsuit of the late 19th century that any true account of many of the first photographers of Egypt and their identities exists at all. Why is this so? That's a riddle that has confounded me throughout this research, and agreeably so, as the current narrative history, the biography, of each of these first photographers is shoddy at best. To give you a brief rundown, in roughly 1798, France, under Napoleon Bonaparte, set out to conquer Egypt. While in Egypt, Napoleon and the French troops were said to have rediscovered numerous ancient monuments throughout Egypt, many of which were only considered myth and legend before Napoleon's travels. By 1801, Napoleon and his troops are also said to have gained control of the Rosetta Stone, the key component to understanding ancient Egyptian writing. Roughly 225 years ago, from today, the world knew Egypt as a landscape existed, but the treasures and mysteries it held were exactly that, mysteries. Napoleon's conquering of Egypt from the Ottoman Empire essentially paved the way for Europeans to not only have access to the information about Egypt, but Europeans finally began to research, record, and study the history of Egypt with fine detail. That being said, the narrative claims it was roughly 20 years from 1801 before all the French scientists and scholars known to the European world as the savants would compile, analyze, and release their research about Egypt. With the cornucopia of Egyptian materials being pushed on the world, in the early to mid-1800s began the Egyptology craze, which swept the earth through the beginning of the 20th century. What's remarkable is when all of the conquering was said and done, the French essentially gave the rights of Egypt to the British, who quickly opened up Egypt for European travelers. With the rapid increase in tourism to Egypt, alongside the seemingly daily discoveries and excavations of ancient Egyptian sites, we are told an increase in meaningful souvenirs also swept across Egypt. This included such things as pieces of stones from the pyramids, pieces of ancient Egyptian jewelry, other relics from inside the burial chambers, and occasionally entire mummies themselves. However, the most popular souvenirs by far became photographs in front of the ancient and newly rediscovered monuments of Egypt. This need, in return, warranted the need for early photographers to make their way to Egypt. And thus, we are told a handful of well-trained men, equipped with the finest in photographic equipment, made their way into northern Africa. We are also told that at that time, many of the finest well-known photographers in the world believed Egypt too hot and too dry to allow for proper photographic documentation, and thus Egypt, for the first 40 years or so of photography, was seemingly only photographed by little-known artists whose very histories seem to be known due to the images of Egypt. Everything else about these photographers appears to be a mystery. Hippolyte Arnaud is often credited as one of, if not the first photographer, to move to Egypt and call it home. However, most of what we know about his history, which is very little, comes to us from a single Egyptian court document where Arnaud brought litigation against numerous other photographers in Egypt. Arnaud claimed their images had infringed on his personal property and the other photographers had stolen his earliest photographs of Egypt, claiming them to be their own. Amazingly, Arnaud won this litigation and many photographs of early Egypt were credited to him. However, amongst the photographers listed in the court documents are the Zanaki brothers. Today, we are going to look at nearly 80 unique photographs of Egypt, all credited to the Zanaki brothers, said to be taken from roughly 1860 through roughly 1898. According to the currently accepted history, the Zanaki brothers and their date of birth and the exact place of their origin is unknown, although it is believed they were of Greek descent and possibly twin brothers born on the island of Milos, where they learned photography is also unknown. What sort of camera equipment they utilized to photograph Egypt is unknown. Up until recent history, the Zanaki brothers were believed to be one single person. However, upon further evaluation of their signed photographs, many of which 
we will view today, it appears there was a C. Zanaki, possibly Constantinos, and a G. Zanaki, possibly for George. However, you can see how a C and a G can often be confused. We're told these brothers most likely began working in Port Said during the founding of the Suez Canal. It is most likely they worked and studied under Arnaud, who I mentioned earlier. Eventually, these brothers are thought to have moved to Cairo, where they are believed to have lived out the rest of their careers. No exact date of passing or place of rest is known for either brother. Much of their history, as mentioned earlier, is known from the single litigation brought against them by Arnaud in the late 1800s. For now, what remains of their history is best understood by these amazing images that we will look at in today's video. Please enjoy, save any image that stands out to you, share this video to help the channel grow, and stay tuned for part 3. There will also be a link down below to the complete collection of images in today's video. I can't wait to talk to you in the comments, and I will see you on the next one.